Trust he wasn't me. gonna do it for free. He just checked it, checked it for free. Yeah. He checked it for free and saw that I needed it. I adjusted it. Wow. So you've had you've had a crooked spine for years now. Yeah. Yeah. I, you don't know how it happened. Oh, it got born that way. It, yeah, I was just about to say you could just have a, a birth defect. Yeah. Yeah. That you were born with that crooked spine. Yeah. So that's the explanation for why I walk one-sided. Ah. Well, I just noticed it. I, you know, I hadn't noticed it all those years. I never really watched you walking. Well, see, you've been missing out. So now, I, yeah, so that's why yeah. your spine isn't a straight up. I figured it out. I thought about it, and I, that's the uh, answer I've come to. The conclusion well, I don't know if, uh, you know, at your age, I think it still help you a little bit, maybe. Well, I, I and your insurance, my insurance covers mine. I, I don't pay a dime. I go to the chiropractor, I don't pay anything. I can walk just fine. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, it, you've gotten used to it. And, yeah. And so, it might, you know, it might probably cause you more problems if you got it adjusted to walk straight. Because you're so used to it now, like that. Yeah. Well, that sure makes sense. Yeah. And that was when we lived on uh, Broadway? Broadway, yeah. yeah so that couldn't have been before 85, because that's about when we moved to Broadway. And, uh, and they had Kmart up above the front of the shop and sale. And it's in front, the chiropractor or that man is in front of the Kmart. Yeah. That's, that's the conclusion he came to. I just ignored it, and, uh, you and lived I'm with still it. ignoring it. Yeah. Well, at least now you know. Yes. And now why, I know why I walk crooked. Yeah, you didn't know that you were even walking crooked. I didn't crooked. know I was walking crooked. All this time, I walked crooked and didn't know it. Well, I didn't notice it either until just Did now on the trail. Did you know that I walked crooked? No, I didn't know that. But he he probably it. walks beside of you or in front of you. If you just walk beside of somebody or in front of them, you don't notice it. And if you walk behind them, you don't really notice it unless you or happen to be looking forward, you know. And I, I try to keep my head up to look yeah. forward, but... Yeah, you keep that head up. Uh, I don't do too good at it, but I, I try. You know what helped my neck, too, was... See, I got that recliner, you know, and... Uh, when I, I sit in and I lean it back to look at TV, well, I put this cushion behind my head to help, because my recliner got me leaning back, almost laying flat. So yeah. this cushion up lifts my head forward. Well, yeah. I thought, well, I'm gonna take this cushion off, and instead of leaning all the way back, I just lean part of the way back yeah. and look at the TV like that. Yeah, now my neck doesn't get as stiff like it used to. Right. Plus, I try to, keep my head up and look straight ahead instead of looking down. Because when your head goes down, then your shoulders go down, and then that puts you humpback going down. You, know, you get to be kind of humpback. And the older you get, the longer the more you've been leaning down, the more you get that way, humpback. So, posture is to keep everything straight. That helps your back. walked a certain way for so many years it's hard to change but I, I do a little bit I, I I keep my head up more than I used to not like I should One shoe more than the other one? No. Have you ever looked at 
haven't looked at your shoes. I, I haven't looked at my shoes to see which one wears more than the other one. So it's just up from your waist up. You, you still put the same amount of pressure on both shoes, I guess. Or one would wear out a little more than the other one. kind of raised not to even think about your posture. I don't remember anybody saying, you know, sit up, Richard, sit up, sit up, you know, don't hump over, don't sit worry up, about that. stand up, stand up straight, stand up straight. Still don't worry about that. You know, but it's good for your back to do that. Your back was made to do, the, to, to do like that. Yeah. When you lean over, you put extra pressure on part of your spine there and your discs and stuff and so it wears them out and they have pain in that posture is very important I for don't your have back. Any pain in my back uh, yeah, your back is probably like that from birth I guess that's better than having somebody, and it's got to be a woman, it ain't going to be a man. A woman in there telling you, you're too close to the line, you're getting over the line, you're all going over the line. Oh. <laughs> you know? I guess it's better to hear the beep than to hear that. Delicate arch. Wolf oh, Ranch. Right yeah, I ain't, no, I ain't going back there today. I'm, uh, not with my body. You don't want to walk that one again? No, uh-uh. <laughs> not today. I see road. I see the road, too. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you see the road. As long as Eric can see the road, that's the most important. Yeah. Good for you to see the road too. But yeah. Yeah, I had but, to watch. But you already told us you see the road. About the I see the road, I see road. I see road. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you can see the road. Yeah. Got enough sunlight on it to see it. Yeah. Well, she meant I see road, not I see road. Oh. <laughs> you were talking. You were talking about the road we're on, but not that you see it, but that it, it it's I got ice on it. Yeah, don't you see all that ice out there? And I don't have any ice on it. <laughs> well, you don't doubt the sign, do you? The sign yeah. said icy road. No, there's no ice on this road. Well, you're questioning the sign? Makes more sense to, to read that and say, well, you see the road. He, he questions the signs, I know. He dares to defy the authority <laughs> of the United States National Park Service in putting that icy road sign out there? The sign is, is, no, is not the, the truth. Well, that wasn't a no five-minute walk. Yeah, see, I question that side. Yeah. They're just lying to you. It's all fake news. Fake news. <laughs> I really have enjoyed this day, eh? I yeah. I really like this. This is really good, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, welcome, welcome. Tomorrow we'll go to Canyonlands. Oh. Is it close by here? Or? 
Yeah, it's south of here. Okay. I think it. Canyonlands. Canyonlands oh. National Park. Is it south, uh, west, or just south? It's just south. Right about 20 miles south of here. It's pretty close. That's why we're staying in the same hotel. Yeah, that would make sense to switch hotels. There's that balanced rock. Yeah. It's a good name for it. Yeah. Well, Bryce Canyon, they had something that looks a lot like that called Thor's Hammer. Thor's Hammer, yes. Looks a lot like that balanced rock. Thor's Hammer. That balanced rock. Walked out to it. Well, what did we ever? Yeah, I figure I walked about nine, at least nine to ten miles today. That's my guess. When we walked what, yesterday. It was yesterday Not was much. the first day we got here. Yesterday we're doing all that driving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we didn't walk any trails yesterday, did we? No, we didn't have time. We did stop a couple times in Zion. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday, your butt was telling you to get out of the car. Oh, yeah. boy, my rear end was sore. It was, oh, yes. And today, it was telling you to get in the car. Yeah, go sit back in the car. <laughs> Eat the cat. Never to return. Well, not on this trip anyway. Yeah, not on this trip. Petrified dunes. Is that what that said? I know I said, I read petrified, I didn't catch those dunes. D U N E S. Well, there's petrified rocks. So I guess you could have the dunes petrified. Huh? Yeah. But isn't that caused by lava? 
know. Yeah, I think so. stuff. I think so. Like, there's a volcano or something, or a lava on here. When we first went in, there was the Moab Fault. Yeah, that's right. Well, that, that's different than lava. I mean, lava is molten rock. Uh, you know, I don't think we have earthquakes out in Arizona. And maybe we will start. We don't have them in Alabama. Hey, you guys don't have Alabama either. Maybe we'll start. California. <laughs> California has them. Yeah, California is good with the earthquakes. That's why the Oregon coastline is so pretty, because of the earthquakes up there. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That's what the, I read on one of those, I don't know, uh, 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 center where you, you go up first there. Yeah, they have falls and they have a lot of, you know, the rocks get pushed up at the bottom. Lust of the eyes, we get looking to feed the lust of the eyes here. What is this? I mean, to a blind person, this wouldn't be anything. You can't nope. see it. Nope. I didn't see any wildlife. I didn't see a lizard, a rabbit, a snake. Yeah, I don't think I've seen them either. A deer. Well, we've seen those deer run across that. Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. yeah. But not today, I haven't seen any out there. They're probably all the people scares them away. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. And, and they so, went somewhere quieter. Yeah. This is our first walk, Park Avenue walk. Yeah, yeah, it does look familiar. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we walked up this road to get to, yeah. to get there. We walked down and around and up to. Want to? I mean, it looks like these cars are gonna stop. Well, if they stop, I stop. Well, you got no choice. I could hit them. Well, but you still stop. I'd still stop, yeah. Some of those signs, slow traffic, slow traffic, pull off to the right. Did you know that even counts if they're going uh, faster than the speed limit? If you're slower than everybody something? else? Yeah. And even though they're going over the speed limit, they still need to turn. They, they need, need to move over. I say if the speed limit is 30 miles an hour and the person in front is going 40 miles per hour and he's got seven, I think it's seven cars, maybe it's six, lined up behind him, he gets the ticket for not pulling over. Not for speeding, no. but for not pulling over. For pull, not pulling over. Because he's, he's going slower than the rest of the traffic wants to go. Well, why not Even give... Even though the rest of the traffic wants to, is trying to go... Is already going faster than the speed limit. But they want to go even faster than that. You would think that the one in front doing that would... It, would the cop would, would, you know, give him an extra $10. Yeah. You know? Hey, look, you you know... You guys are going too fast, but at least you're holding the back from going 60 in a 30 miles on. Yeah. She nope. give him a medal. Nope. They, 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 no he medal. Gets a ticket. Ticket. <laughs> for holding up traffic for not pulling up. Yep. Well, what about the people behind him? Why don't they give them the tickets for no, speeding? They're, they're, no, they, they don't get a ticket. It's the one in front that's that's keeping them from breaking the speed limit even more. Sounds like a communist conspiracy. Yeah. Well, actually, it, it helps better for the cops because. If that person in front uh, would move over, then those cars behind, they could maybe go 70, and Ooh. they could give them a ticket. And be a more expensive you know, ticket. Yeah, more expensive ticket, more revenue for the, for the city, you see. So, but the one in front is holding them back. So he gets a ticket for impeding more reckless driving. Yep. Yeah. Well, way. they don't word it like that, but that's what it boils down to. Yeah. Yeah. They asked the class, well, when you come up, you know, to speed limit sign, and, you know, whatever the speed limit says on there, do you have to, uh, you have to do it before you get to the sign or after like when you come up if it if you're going uh, 25 and it says you come up to a 35 mile an hour speed limit sign can you go 35 you know five miles per hour before you get to the sign or do you have to wait till you get to the sign wait till you get to the sign I said well you have to you, you if you can see it you can do it so if you're coming up if you're going 25 you come up to a 35 speed limit sign and you see it ahead of you you can go 35 even though you ain't got to that sign yet oh no no you're wrong you got you gotta wait till you get to the sign to do 35 yeah and i said well then what about if you're going 35 and you come up to a you see a 25 mile an hour sign ahead of you 
do you get to go 35 until you get to the sign then you have to slow down to 25 yeah no no if you see it you got to do it I said, well, it, it, that's a double standard yeah I just said <laughs> how do they know if I see it that's dependent upon my eyesight the, if well, I have better, better eyesight, I can see it faster. Reasonable distance, I guess. You know, if you were like a mile away, like this right here, you could see that pretty easy. You know, but if you were around that turn down there, you couldn't have seen that 25 speed limit. Yeah. So. 